Okay, I had uh, posted some, uh, or tweeted over on that uh, new uh, Twitter account, and I put the links to some of my videos in there, uh, and stuff. Uh, initially, they'll just show up as a YouTube link, and after a little while, they come back, and uh, uh, Amazon changes it to a short link, but it, what it does is if somebody's on uh, Twitter and they look at your video, uh, we're going to see if it counts uh, on there. It should. It should count. So what we've got is, uh, that's this is this video, the multi-camera, Andrew, and right now before I started look, watching it over there, uh, and that's on another browser so it doesn't know who I am over here. Uh, and it shows 53 views. So we're, we're going to uh, do this and like I said, we've got uh, you know the video playing on here. They can uh, it, the full screen doesn't work in here. I don't know if that's an edge thing or whatever else, but they could go straight to the YouTube channel. So this is another way to get your YouTube videos out there in front of people is get that Twitter account. And we're going to check here just a little bit. I'm going to let this play on through for 11 minutes. Uh, and I'll come back and we're going to refresh that screen and see if it shows us a new view. Okay, it's been uh, like 24 hours since I uh, uh, posted over on Twitter uh, like about five uh, video links here. A uh, couple of them that I kind of track of. This one uh, here has gotten uh, about two views uh, since then. Uh, see the other one uh, that I posted was the uh, 50 hour review. It had, uh, uh, I believe, 420, so it's got 426 now. Uh, now the three-month review, uh, it had somewhere around like uh, 6,800 something. So it's gotten about 100 views since I put uh, that information over there on Twitter. Now, is all of that uh, credited to Twitter? Probably not on this review, uh, but on these other ones, they're not high view uh, videos, and uh, so I'm crediting uh, those views as coming uh, possibly from uh, Twitter. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to show that, and then I'm going to go over some other stuff here just Okay, something else that I ran across is a uh, thing called TubeBuddy. Um, so I went ahead, it kind of installs in your uh, browser. Uh, now I installed it in Chrome and I also installed it in Firefox. I, for whatever reason, I cannot get it to work in Firefox, but it works fine in uh, uh, Chrome. And, and initially the reason I installed it it's because it allows you to create custom thumbnails. And I was talking about that in another video. You want to kind of dress up your thumbnails. And uh, so the free version of it allows you to do that. There are some restrictions on, you know, how many uh, images that you can upload. And, uh, you know, you can't save it as a template or download it or things like that. But anyway, uh, you know, the free service uh, is there and that's basically what I have right now. Now they've told me that uh, uh, I qualify, uh, let's see here, it's on this one. Uh, see I was looking at one of the things on there and there's some things that don't work unless you have a deal. It basically said, uh, you know, my channel qualifies for a 14 day trial of the pro. So I may do that and look at it. but. Uh, 
if you're looking at the pricing, now you first come on here and they got three, four plans. They got the free, the pro, the star, and the legend. Uh, and, you know, for me to try something out, work with it $9 a month, just a little too much for me. But they have some uh, coupons and discounts over here. And one of them is I have less than a thousand subscribers. So I do that and it says I help the little guy out and get 50% off. So that drops it to four fifty a month, and then if I tell them I'm going to pay yearly, it comes to three sixty. So that's about like forty three dollars and twenty cents for a year. Uh, if I decide uh, to uh, actually subscribe to it, uh, kind of looking through it, it has some really uh, nice uh, features and stuff. But it, the reason I initially came to it was because it was uh you know had that thing where you could do your your uh, custom uh, uh thumbnails now i did this one here for this uh video that i did yesterday in photoshop but anyway let's uh let's go here to video manager and i could and you know i know not everybody has photoshop or something like that so that's why i was kind of uh, looking at it and uh, at this uh, uh tube buddy Let's see down here. I went down here and I changed this uh, Mahindra uh, 1526 uh, hour service uh, thumbnail to this. And I made this thumbnail right here uh, in uh, TubeBuddy. So you come in here and you can, you can go into the edit and you can create uh, the thumbnail. It also has a lot of tag tools and other things that are available in the free version. Um, but if I go to create thumbnail, it will ask you, you know, steal a frame from the video or a solid color or upload an image. Uh, and I'm not going to do that on this one. Uh, and I'm not really going to go for an overview of this because I haven't used it that much. But I do think it really has some promise especially for people that don't have all the other types of software uh, to go in there. So I could say like, uh, say I've got, if I drop this up, I've got the options too. Now some of them are going to be, oh well you got to have the uh, higher license version. Okay, well let's just go in here and let's do an edit uh, this and we're going to create a custom thumbnail. And I'm just going to uh, uh, steal an image. Now to steal an image from the uh, video, I could just go uh, and you have to excuse my uh, little uh, internet connection is turning me slow out here in the middle of nowhere. Now, normally I'd probably just upload one because uh, it's easier to be fine with. But I can come in here and uh, let me back up just a hair here. So I can find it. It's like I'm getting close to where I was going. Right. Now, see, I can come in here and go frame by frame. So let's say I wanted that same one that I've got. I go continue on that. Now I can add text. So uh, if I type in like multi cams and I can select whatever color I want. I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm going to outline it and uh, I'm going to outline it. So now I have this in here. Now I can shadow it and a couple other things that I can do in here. Uh, if I want to change the size of the text, I can change the size of the text. So we're going to uh, do that. Now we're going to add another text. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it. 
bread, and nothing else to melt my hand or on there. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and leave it red uh, with the, uh, you know, I'm gonna fold it, and uh, let's add that on there. Now you can see that's a little too big, so I'm gonna drop this down, and I'm gonna pull this right over here. Okay, so I can do it like that. Now if I want to, I can rotate this. But I'm just gonna leave it like that. So I, I'm gonna say, sounds good to me. And I'm gonna leave that on there. Now it's gonna come in here and it's got this. And I do, uh, you know, got my deal. And I'll just say, save and publish. it on there like I said it that'll show up uh, I think it takes a little while for it to propagate on your dashboard uh, and your video things were swapped over to the new uh, thumbnail anyway I just thought I'd uh, tell you all about that that I found it and so I'm gonna play with it and stuff and uh, there's quite a bit of features in the pro version which is what you got to subscribe but if I can get for three dollars and whatever cents a month I may do it for a year because it has a lot of other features uh, that are really nice about allowing you to uh, uh, manipulate things help promote not only the video you're working on but your other videos so uh, it's all about promoting and if it works and and also uh, they are uh, YouTube certified or compliant or whatever it is so uh, they're they're actually uh, uh, accepted by YouTube, so using uh, TubeBuddy uh, won't affect your uh, YouTube or your Google uh, analytics account. That's about it for right now. Thank you.